You're listening to the Pillaging Podcast. Proud member of the Crow's Nest Podcast Network. Companion podcast to PJ4F.com, the number one podcast in Raider Nation. Tune in every week wherever podcasts are found. Call in and leave a message to be played on air at 408-909-PJFF. This episode brought to you by One Nation Fanware. Check them out at OneNationFanware.com. It's time to pillage another podcast. <laughs> I mean, it, why waste time, right? Why waste, waste time? time? Let's let's go ahead and get into this, Bobby. Yeah, yeah. Let's do the honors. Hey, John. Hey, John. How come you coach him but not me? <laughs> oh, man. Put me in there, man. Put me in, coach. Hey, it's uh, myself, Kenny Stapler, Bobby Wasabi, to my left, Ju- and the illustrious Che. Hey. On the far left, the crack went over some some beers right now. There's not enough beer in the world to make this hurt go away, but we're going to try. Nope. No, we're going to give it a good run. We're, we're going to give it a good run. <laughs> give oh, yeah. Okay. The old, um, right there. That's what we're working with. We're going to start start off with this this uh, this sud work. Okay. This sud work brewing. Uh, this is the small town hustle. Um, and this is a hazy IPA with an ABV of 6.5 on the Richter scale. Let's give it a little taste. Taste See what it tastes like. Cheers. Salud. Salud. Hey. Look at that. Oh, that's a professional pour right there. Nice and cloudy. Tasty. Refreshing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Delicious. Bright. Nice, bright flavor. Galaxy, Citra, and El Dorado hops coming through nicely. Nice balance. So Citra, bro, that's why. Yep, yep, yep. The you Citra get hops are The Citra fire. hops, that's what's giving it that... Uh, that tangy, um, you know, makes it makes it feel like a little citrus. Yeah. I'm drinking all the leftover cooler. beer today, cigarette butts. I don't give a yeah. I'm drinking it. That's right. I've been Drink. drinking beers off the street all all afternoon. Yeah. Drinking it straight out the freaking ashtray and whatnot. This is du- this is dope. I mean, aside from the fact that the label's dope, and usually when you see a cool ass label on a beer, much like a record, okay, sometimes yeah. that's the way you pick a record. Mm-hmm. Kenny knows about that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, you you usually find something good, <clears throat> um, and this is this just so happens to be the case with Sudwork. But of course, we've had Sudwork before, and we know they don't let us down. They they have some pretty good beers on their roster. So, mm-hmm. shout out to Sudwork for uh, providing another one right here on the Pillaging Podcast. Salut, salut, hey. Raider Nation. I hope you have many chelas <clears throat> to crack tonight because they're gonna be needed. Settle in, everyone. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. If you like beer, go ahead and smash that like button. Hey. And you know what I mean? Uh, if you're if you're pissed off right now, <laughs> smash that like button. If you threw a beer at any point during today's game, <laughs> smash that like button. If you drank a hams <laughs> because of this game, <laughs> smash that like button. If you've ever asked yourself, how come you coach him but not me? Smash that like button. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's oh, so funny man. tonight, but it is. It is. Because uh, <laughs> they said, the chat said that uh, Van Dam would have won us that game. <laughs> um, <laughs> shout out to the chat, by the way. We got a lot of heavy hitters in there. We got Quinn in there, uh, Luis Martinez, Watts Raider, big up, big ups, big ups, big ups, Juice, of course, the OG, uh, Lizette Romero. She says she's had enough dysfunction for the night. Uh, not not you too, not- Kenny. <laughs> um, Pete, Pete's in there pillaging. Pete says anything that gets Kenny off his diet is a bad sign. Hey, Pete, I'm 20 pounds down. I'm 20 hey. pounds down. 20 pounds down. Put in work down to 215 from 235. We're getting down to 185, and then and then we're bulking back up, and we're taking Arden Key's spot. That's right. And we're going straight to John Gruden, and we're saying, John, how come you coach him but not me? <laughs> Okay, you can follow us on Twitter at Pillaging Pod, uh, but don't follow us in public. That's weird. Um, you could donate <laughs> in the YouTube chat by hitting that cash icon or going to PayPal dot me slash PJ four F. Big shout out to Daryl Padilla. Thank you for the donation this week. We appreciate that. Um, tonight's guest is going to be you. Yes, we're going to go to some phone calls later. I don't know if we're opening the phone lines. We got a lot of nasty messages chilling in the voicemail right now. We're going to go through those. Obviously, we're going to get Kane on here as not, soon not, as possible. Not, not directed at us. No. Direct, directed at the Raiders. Right. At, 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 at this team. Pete says he ballooned up to 270 after this game. <laughs> um, was, that, was that after this game or was that <laughs> the Thanksgiving feast that <laughs> everyone had? It was that fourth plate, bro. Hey. From all those leftovers. 
Uh, they, there's Stony said I have, a, I have an echo on my mic, but I don't hear it. Um, James Laos, thanks for the $25 donation in Super Chat. He says, my heart is hurting. Do we get back on track? Are we going down the same path last year? Uh, we're going to open up that can of worms a little bit. But yes, as you guys know, 6-4 and four last year, same week, show up, don't show up against the Jets, get our ass kicked, and pretty much lose out the rest of the season. Um, and here we are again, and guess who we face next week? That's right, the New York Jets. I feel a little bit more optimistic that this team's going to bounce back. I think they have more pride than that. Yeah. Can we get an audio check in the chat? Do I truly have an echo on my voice? Is that happening? I don't know. I just checked let's see, let's my see. audio over here. Everything see, is off. See. What do you say, chat? What say you? Yeah. What do you say there, Raider Nug? And is it just me? Why is it just me? Why is it just me? Because how come you coach him but not me? <laughs> because you're you're uh, what you oh, got to say why. is so resounding. See that Jew says that we can't look at each other, bro. We had to practice social distancing. Oh, uh, it echoes. <laughs> it echoes when I turn away from the mic. Yeah, that would make sense. We got three hot mics here in the That's studio. Right. Hot mic. I'll try. I'll try to stay on mic. Yeah. Wait, hot mic. So fire. <laughs> so what's happening, guys, is, is uh, what we call bleed when I talk loud. It's going to bleed into Bobby's mic, and you're going to hear that on the d yeah. But um, you guys don't want us to be, you know, quiet or anything. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, so just live with it. Um, That's right. This show, <laughs> and uh, not this week's performance, but this show is brought to you by OneNationFanware.com. That's right. Um, make sure you go to OneNationFanware.com. Enter in the code PJ4F, all caps, Get free shipping for the rest of the season. That's something to look forward to. Also, a reminder to our European listeners, you get standard shipping rates in Europe. There's a distribution warehouse dead center in Europe, so you should get your packages on time. This is a great break for all of our European listeners. It's always Hell uh, yeah. It, it's always frustrating, man, especially having to wait mm-hmm. for some fresh gear. Yep. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. So tonight's show, we're going to do some quick hits. We don't really have much there. We're not going to spend much time on there. We're going to get right into this this breakdown. Um, everyone's going to have their their chance to to fit and fight. Um, we're going to get Kane on here. He's going to he's going to give it, give you the real as usual. Um, but first, let's let's hit these quick hits real fast. Yeah, boy. Just some general news, mostly from around the league. Pittsburgh versus Baltimore, obviously postponed from Thursday. All the way to Tuesday. That's almost like an extra week to prepare for the game. Obviously, they'll be on a short week after that. But uh, can we get a postponement over here? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, Denver, no quarterbacks this week. That's a quick hit. Um, they lost 31-33. to Somehow, they made it a closer game with no quarterbacks than we did uh, with our quarterback, who is going to get some blame this week. But we're not jumping off the Derek Carr train this year just yet. We've seen plenty from Derek this year to feel like he's comfortable with where he's at. He wasn't all to blame again. We're going to we're gonna dive into all of that. And then uh, last quick hit of the night. Do the Niners have to find a stadium this week? Don't come knocking will, at our door. Will the Niners be playing at the Oakland Coliseum? Man, what did that be? Who knows if they get the most the atrocious place. fucking thing possible, bro. That would be. A goddamn shame. That would be a damn shame. Would the city of Oakland actually allow something like that, though? Man. That's the question, because mm-hmm. from what it looked like, they didn't even want any damn sports to begin with. Right. So, who knows, man? Yeah, it'll be interesting if they let him in, because I'm, I'm going straight to Libby Schaaf's door, and I'm like, How come you coach him, but not me? <laughs> <laughs> All night long, y'all. That's the real question. <laughs> All night long. <laughs> Get used to that, man. All night long. Who's that? She. <laughs> We got samples over here. <laughs> yeah, We're mixing this, and matching tonight. This, yeah. this soundboard is loaded. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, real quick, we're going to give you kind of a, a, um, a slight, slight injury update. Hey, uh, as you guys know, going into this game, Richard inactive, uh, Furrow inactive, uh, Trent Brown appears to still be. On the Trent uh, on the Trent Brown list, <laughs> <laughs> Trent Brown still appears. God to be, damn, they uh, made a list named after you, bro. He has his own list now. Though. You're on your own list. Brown, uh. <laughs> <laughs> he's on the COVID list. So hopefully he bounces back soon. Because I think, as Jay Cali said with the 199 donation, thank you very much, Jay Cali. Uh, as Jay Cali says, Salute. Salute. today proved we need Trent Brown, and that's that's the truth, man. Um, we we call out Trent Brown for everything that's happening off the field. Yeah, um, when he's on the field, 
he he belongs here. Hell yeah, you know, he does. Stay man. on the field. Hey, uh, let's not make any mistakes about this, right? We're excited about uh, Brandon Parker's improvement and mm-hmm. his play, but by no means yeah. are we like, hey, hey, we're good. Trent Brown, go away. No, mm-hmm. please. Mm-hmm. No. Chess back on the field. Yeah. No. yeah. Bl- uh, ASAP. Brandon Parker definitely showed. <laughs> why, oh, he's back. Oh. Yeah, why, <laughs> that was a problem. That was, why he is problem. who he is. Yeah. Oh, I missed this one. Sal Salazar, shout out. Pillaging. Hey. Also, with a twenty four ninety nine donation of Super Chat, that was very generous, Sal. Uh, he says, I'm no longer wearing my Raider zebra pants. We're 0 and 2 against them. Um, yeah. Man, that, and those, those should have been. Those should have been put away a long time do ago. Remember those? <laughs> do you remember those? <laughs> those Zikos? Oh, yeah. those Zico? <laughs> Something like that. Hey, uh, by the way, yeah. Sal, I hit you back about the uh, the salsa. Uh, Let's get together. Uh, we want to move some of those units. I got a few pillagers hitting me up from the Midwest and the East Coast where they can't find good Mexican food, and they already want that salsa. So hit me up so we can get a little uh, little plug for you going here yeah, every yeah. week on the show. We would love to be sponsored by some salsa. That would be fantastic. Dude, I'll even make the commercial for them. Yeah. I'll be like, Hi. I am Bobby Wasabi, <laughs> and I love flavor. <laughs> if you love flavor, too, <laughs> then I've got the salsa for you. Mm. Hey, commercials. Uh, back on the injury train, uh, Damon Arnett left the game with a concussion, tried to come back, and the officials saw something they did not like. He did not look good. He did not look good. Good call by the officials. Get Damon out of there. He's uh, He's had a rough go, man. Yeah, he's man. had a rough go. It, I mean, it w- he was on the sidelines, and they let him come back on the field. He came back in, and then the, they there was an Man. official timeout. They did the whole. Why? Why do I? Why? Why, why do I feel an like NFL fine coming soon? Bro? They did uh, apparently. They did the God whole damn. concussion protocol and all that. They, they they put up the little blue tent and all that. Yeah, but they deemed him okay, so that's why he went back out there, and he was cool. Mm-hmm. And I believe he he laid somebody out or something, or I'm not sure if he ran into somebody else, but. I just remember him just kind of getting up a little bit woozy and just mm. kind of like you could see it in his eyes. He didn't look, you know, focused. He just looked a little bit out of it. And that's when the zebra was like, nah, you got to go out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's, it's not good, man. When the when the teacher tells you to go home, bro. Right. Yeah, it's right. Not, it's not. So put your head down on your desk and, and <laughs> you know, sit this one out. Uh, yeah, was, that was tough to see, man. Arnett's a fighter. Arnett is a fighter. As many errors as he's had this season, it's his first year, and that dude's pinning his ear back, ears back almost every play. Mm-hmm. So I, I think with time, Arnett's going to be a player for us. Uh, Trayvon Mullen's been a player for us. Low-key, Mullen's been playing great this year. Um, he's going to be a big player going going forward. Um, he also left the, the, the game with a leg injury replaced by, by Nixon for a short period there. He came back, correct? Um, yeah. yeah, so he got his leg um, kind of rolled up on a little bit, smashed on, um, and then Denzel Good also left the field in the third quarter. Uh, it was a rough game. This was a slow game. We were just starting the fourth quarter, and I was looking at the ticker, and and most of these teams were wrapping up their games. This game was unnecessarily long and slow, yeah. and it was just the game just ended like fifteen minutes ago. To be honest with you, <laughs> uh, shout out to Easy. Pillaging. Thank you for the hey, ten dollars. Salute. In super chat, he says, "Can my man Jerry Rice please please give Carr some good stickum recommendations?" Oh man, um, we're gonna talk about that, and then uh, yeah, that's it. So we got some silver and black facts. We got all that stuff. We're gonna sprinkle that in with our conversation. The table is set. I think everything it, it, that needed to be set up front has been said. Now it's time to dive in and and, and talk about this. We don't want to. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, man. We were downstairs. We we're we we're vibing. We we're watching some some disc golf coverage. We we're vibing, man. Uh, Bobby and Bobby and I played uh, 45 holes of disc golf in 48 hours. We're tired. We're pissed off, and we're not drunk yet, which is a problem. But I'm still soberish. Yeah, yeah. soberish. Yeah, soberish, bro. Yeah. <laughs> So it's not working that way. It's, it wasn't <laughs> supposed to be this way. It, it just wasn't. It, it was yeah. supposed to be a nice, long, you know, vacation weekend and whatnot, and it just went completely sideways, bro. Yeah, totally sideways. Let's let's uh, let's get someone in here that's going to help us sort this out. Or who knows? Who knows? You know, it's Raider Kane. He's going to bring the fire each and every week. So let's get Kaner on here, and uh, yeah. See what he has to say, because I'm interested. 
I'm really interested. MVPs? Hello. Kane, you're you're live on the air. We're not taking a break. We're going straight into this. Yeah. I just want to be clear. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. There's there's no MVP this week. Say what? There's no MVP this week. Oh hell no. There's no <laughs> Say MVP. what? That's why I said say what? <laughs> Wait. Hell I, no, I no MVP. I have a it's vote. a trash can players with an S on the end though, that's for sure. <laughs> that's plural. <laughs> Man, the oh, whole man. damn team. Yeah, yeah. And I think coaches. Yep. Defense, oh, offense. Yeah. Yep. I mean, shit. I, you know what? Did we play our Super Bowl last week? Oh man. Like for, man, yeah. I don't back know, that man. motherfucker up. Back him up. Back I, him up, man. Because the team, y'all need to jump in that bitch and get ground up like ground beef this week. <laughs> yeah, Hell yeah. Because yeah, man. So from a philosophical uh, from a philosophical uh, level, there's there's a lot of ways to try to attempt to try to explain this. Like I thought coming off of that after that loss last week, we still had reason to hold our head high. I was watching yeah. the news coverage and everyone said despite the loss, the, the Raiders have everything to be proud of. They were they were in a battle with KC after seeing them once before. You know, KC coming off the bye week, undefeatable, all that, and it was that game, if that game never timed out, it just would have kept going back and forth and back and forth. And, you know, we kind of said it as we were watching the game. It's whoever has the ball last is going to win this. And so I thought coming after out of that, the Raiders should be, you know, riding high, feeling confident. Did they overlook the Falcons? Was it the travel? Was it the adjusted training uh, practice schedule? Is it the distraction of COVID? What, what the hell happened between Sunday and today? <laughs> what happened, man? I think all of that. I think every bit of that. I think COVID caught up to us. I think games caught up to us. I think traveling caught up to us. But most importantly, I think the importance of a game caught up to this young team. You know, they uh, went out and played a hard-fought game last week and almost won, like mm. just by the hair of their chinny-chin-chin. Mm. They almost beat, you know, the the Chiefs twice, and and I'm hoping that wasn't y'all like arc of the season. It's like you played to this arc, and then here you are, like a story. It's like we got to the arc of the story, and now we going down to the end of the story. And I don't like the ending of it the way it's coming out. Um, you know, it's the same shit we did last year. We go six and four, or we go six and three. We we lose to the Chiefs. Mm-hmm. We six and four. After we lose to the Chiefs, yeah. and then our season just goes to a to a, a end. You know, is it is it you guys just want to beat the Chiefs? Mm. Is that it? Mm. Because this is where you showed up, and now you needed this week. You needed to come out this week as a team and say that was an aberration. Let's go out and show who we are, and we can score against any team. And you didn't do it. Yeah. Didn't do it. Didn't show up. Didn't even – y'all should have just stayed at home, man. Fuck, we could have just been Baltimore this week and just been COVID ravaged. I'm, I, I don't understand, man. Yeah, I don't I, this, this is some bullshit. We got – we – I don't know. Are we liking our press clippings? Are we – I don't know. This young team is not used to being a winning team yet. And I, they showed us that today. Uh, you know? Jay Calliraider, thanks for the 199. He says, is Nick Kwiatkowski the MVP? If we had to, hey, Kwiatkowski, sure, fine. Yeah. Nick, you the real MVP. he doesn't want that trophy. He don't give a shit. <laughs> no, no, no one wants to be the MVP today. Yeah. No one wants to be. I think they all want to go in the trash today. I think they would all deserve, they all like to be trash can players today. They would admit it themselves. They would say, hey, we didn't come out and we weren't. And actually, actually they did. Every player said, that's not who we are. That's mm-hmm. not who we are. We, mm-hmm. we, we, we shit to bed today. So. Um, and, you know, and Derek Carr even in his press conference said they practiced flat all week. He felt like they had their worst week of practice all season. So, so something happened there. I don't know. I, I don't think that there's any reason to sag or feel flat coming off that KC loss. Number one, you were in the game, so be proud of that. Number two, it was an L. Get back to work. You had every reason to hit it hard this week, yep. and they didn't. Atlanta. I mean, we we talked about this last week. Atlanta 
and John said it in the press conference himself. He said they were the best three and seven team coming into this game. They've lost close games. They've been putting it together steadily throughout the season. And no matter what, you still have Matt Ryan back there at quarterback. He's a threat every single year. This this was a classic trap game, and I think it was Watts Raider that called that out in the chat last week. And Watts Raider right now, cold blooded. Watts says uh, the 2017 Oakland Raiders were sighted in Atlanta today. Mm. Uh, mm. That's def- mm. that's deadly mm. accuracy. That's more accurate yep. than. Uh, I, w- I would flame throw that, but it's not even a hot take. It's that's, not. that's just kicking f- some fucking facts right here. No, you know what? It's not a hot take. You know what? Because we went to New Orleans fact, fact. and we beat the Saints in New Orleans and we shouldn't have beat the Saints in New Orleans. And then we came home the next week and Kenny, you was at the game with me. It was like yep. flat. Yep. It was burning up hot. Atlanta beat us. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> and Atlanta came out and they beat us. That's right. It you know, and it's almost yeah. like we win these games that we shouldn't win or we're in these games that we that the media or everybody that's not a Raider fan thinks we shouldn't be in and we're in these games and then we come back and we make everybody say see we told you yeah I don't like that yeah I don't like that yep. Yeah, and that's what we kind of warned about, you know, and that's that's kind of what we said that we weren't were that that's what this team isn't last week. You know, we we've seen the Raiders come out and play well and then shit the bed the following week. Well, so far this year we've been putting together decent games every week save for that Tampa game, but then this week they fall right back down to earth and we see that you're going to see players start to drop. You're going to see this team drop in the power rankings. We got a team next week that we can beat, but it's again on the opposite coast. It's going to be in cold weather. And we're hitting that wall. Got a lot of young players deep into the season. It's the same shit that happened last year at the same time. We were 6-4 and four going to New York. It was game 12, or sorry, week 12, game 11, whatever, what have you. And we just fall completely flat for no apparent reason at all. And I, I think a lot of Raider fans are worried that's going to happen again. I don't. I feel more optimistic. I think this team has more bounce back. I think this team has more fire. But it is a concern. Because right now we're at a, a show me, don't tell me point with this team. Um, and it's that fast. It took one loss that fast. Boom. You lose 43 to six. The The Broncos, <laughs> the Broncos lost by a lot. Score more points than we did. <laughs> well, they scored three, but they, they kept the margin a little tighter at 31 to three. And they had no quarterback. We had no quarterback. So let's, let's talk about the trash can players, coach for me. Got to start at the top. I put this on John Gruden. Five, sorry, five rushing attempts total in the first half. I understand you get away from that in the second half, but five in the first half. What what was the score at halftime, Jay? Thirteen to three. Thirteen to six. Uh, six, yeah. Was it? Thirteen to three. Thirteen to three. Was it thirteen yeah. to three? Yeah, yeah. Thirteen to three. Now we got to go back and check, man. I got it right here because I write everything down. <laughs> The score was um, sixteen to three. Oh, sixteen, 16 to, three. to three. Yeah, there you sixteen go. to three. Yeah. Oh, sixteen to three. Okay, yeah. that's even worse. So <laughs> the the Raiders were the third wild card team coming into this. Now we're in the hunt. Now we're in a position where the Raiders got to win damn near every game to stay in the hunt. Yeah, we we we've been here before. No, they have to Easy. win every game yeah. basically because these other teams are winning. the The Browns won today. Uh, didn't Miami win today? I think Miami won today. Did they? Um, it, the the Colts lost. Uh, I thought the Miami won today. Um, uh, Miami I won could today. Be wrong. Uh, Miami, I believe, won. Um, the Titans beat the Colts. The Browns pulled that one out. Um, the Ravens play on Tuesday. They're probably going to lose to Pittsburgh. But we're on the outside looking in at this point. And I warned you guys about the AFC North. We warned you guys about the AFC South. We said that that extra wild card spot wasn't going to help us if these teams keep playing the same that, that they do. And they are. Um, shout out to Raiders Hub. Pillaging. Raiders Hub says, all the respect the Raiders earned this year out the window with this performance. Peace and love, fellas. A hey, peace and love to you. Peace Salud. and love. Peace and love. Uh, also, Pete, Pillaging. shout out to the $10 donation to Pete in the Super Chat. Thank you. He says, has anyone else ever noticed that whenever Ruggs has a decent game, we get our shit pushed in? Not blaming him, just saying, Pete, <laughs> have you ever had your shit Pushed in. <laughs> <laughs> training day. Hashtag training day. <laughs> um, I mean, let's. I, I start with John Gruden, man. Some of these calls, 
real head scratchers. We have a first and goal at the five. We don't run the ball at all. Um, you know, don't run the ball at all in the, the first half of the game. You know what's go, what's going on there? What what's up with those decisions? Can, did we get too cute? You know what? I don't. You know, I, I can I cannot even begin to answer you that question. The, this was the team that got the worst passing defense in the NFL, and we come out running the ball. Why don't we come out like we did against the Chiefs, passing the ball? I, I just don't get it. I don't understand. The game plan you had last week, you use that same game plan today, you win the game. Mm-hmm. You come out throwing the ball. That's what you do. They're, that's their weakness. Instead, you come out trying to run the ball, establish the run. Why? Why are you doing this? There was no reason for you to do this at, in the beginning of the game. Come out, score a fucking touchdown. Do the do the fabulous fifteen first plays that you do. You weren't. This team was not even the team from Hike. They were. They were not that team. Yeah, we we go. And, and uh, like I said, no. They they usually come out fifteen first plays. Boom, 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 boom. You're excited to see that. You didn't even come out with that today. Che, how many you rushes? Know, so, to- che, how many rushes total for Josh Jacobs in this game? I believe it was seven, man. Well, we got a sound bite. It was we, seven. We got a sound bite from Jacobs right now. How come you coach him but not me? <laughs> I don't know, Josh. <laughs> I don't know, Josh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's ridiculous, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Shit, man. Um, like I said, this was a this this was a passing game. This was a game that Aguilar should have had a big game. Our receivers, Waller, Aguilar, Renfro, they should have had big games today. When you're going into a game and you're facing a team that has the worst passing defense in the NFL, what do you do as a game plan? You go out and you're going to yeah. pass the ball yeah. because yeah. that's what their weakness is. Not run the ball, pass the ball. But instead, we're, oh, we run the ball because we're a running team. Well, they shut the run down. So now what you do? Well, I disagree with you that, know, man, because you, we, we've tried to run the ball early on before this season got shut down and plugged away at it and broke through. We abandoned the running game yeah. after that first drive yeah. immediately. Five rushes in the first half total. Fourth and one, and, and shout out to uh, Michael McCord in the chat right now. My thoughts exactly. Fourth and one with the best three, or sorry, the best two interior offensive linemen, plus Denzel Good, who was doing all right. And we run a sweep play, and Jacobs actually misread that. He had the edge. He cuts inside. He had the he edge. He surely had the edge. He had the inside cut. All he had to do was cut right up the right up the seam. But instead, he tried to go outside and run around no, everybody. He, he cut and, that and, inside. He cut that inside. Was that Gabe Jackson that was out there or Rodney Hudson that was out there? He cuts inside his blocker and gets scooped up. He had the edge right there for a yard. He had the edge. He could have turned it outside. Edge. He had the edge. I said that too. I so was like, um, "Damn, he had it." You know, I was like, "Fuck, you had it, dude." All you had to do was cut forward, and then and, and then, he didn't. And, I, yeah, and then Brandon Parker regresses to a swarm himself. Derek Carr can catch blame for this game. Obviously, you got to protect the football, but he was under fire for a good three quarters of this game, just completely under fire, totally under duress this whole game from both sides. From yep. both sides. Yep. From both sides. Colton Miller getting a penalty. That was the one thing too that really frustrated me, man. The amount of penalties that we were that we got, dude. I, it always pisses me off seeing when we get more than a hundred yards. That's embarrassing, dude. It's like we might as well just walk the damn ball over and just let them score mm-hmm. straight up. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it, yeah, we I all, agree, Bobby. We all know it just it became a shit show at some point, you know, like. Guys were just getting stupid fucking penalty calls. Like, how many late quarterback hits did we have towards oh, in the second half? It's like people were just they were just acting like assholes at that point. Um, but yeah, going back to the to the amount of runs that we had, like you said, Kenny, they abandoned the run, and that isn't our mo. Our mo has been yeah, we're, we maybe we run the ball a little too often. Maybe we run the ball in situations where. Maybe we should change it up a bit, but we're going to stick to it and we're going to fucking, you know, we're going to get some bodies on people, open up some holes, and eventually we're going to wear you down. We never saw that. We never did that, man. We never saw that. Josh Jacobs leaves the game in the fourth quarter with with an injury to his Mm -hmm. ankle with a total of seven carries for 27 yards, bro. Mm -hmm. Seven carries for 27 yards, a 3.9 yard average. Mm -hmm. Um, it it wasn't there. Devontae Burke, Booker had five. 
And then the other two carries come from Ruggs and Peterman. Mm. <laughs> come on, man. Like that's, that's ridiculous. That is a bullshit. It's terrible. That is a bullshit game in terms of running. Um, and we, we never we got it going. We didn't we, run the we ball. We never got it going from the beginning. Never. I don't think that we ever got a rhythm nope. in any drive. Nope. In no, any we drive, did. we never got a rhythm. They just, like, never let us get into a rhythm. Mm-hmm. And hats off to that defense. You know, they played a good game. You know what I mean? They came out, and they probably was like, oh, they, the Raiders going to come in here and think they're going to blow us out. And they was ready for us, and we wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's just – and on offense, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked that this offense couldn't score a touchdown. In a game, yeah. After you've been putting up, you averaging twenty eight points per game. You don't even put up one. To, I'm I'm shocked, and I'm sure the players and everybody else feel the same way. So mm-hmm. I don't know what to say about this. this. Is this an aberration, or is this a? Are we in a tailspin? You know. Um, um, real quick, uh, shout out to Raider Rich and Kevin Lurker Pillaging. With a combined fifteen dollar donation in the super chat, we appreciate that. They both have comments about Carr. Uh, Rich says DC was inaccurate the whole game. What the hell? Uh, ESPN dot com and Kevin Lurker. Carr turned into Mark Wilson today. That's a bit harsh, man. Um, I, I mean, I think Mark Wilson had better blocking than Derek Carr did today. <laughs> you know, and I was I watched every game Mark Wilson played in. Um, yeah, Mark Wilson wasn't that bad. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he had know. Bo Jackson too. So <laughs> he did, he did, and they ran the damn ball behind him. So I don't know. I I kind of feel like John Gruden got a little cute today. He looked at the stat sheet, saw Atlanta Falcons are ranked something like what twenty ninth against the pass, and said this is the week that we can open it up. But then it, it was all dink and dunk, and I, I didn't get to see you know I didn't get to see the fly cam or anything like that. So we don't see the coverage downfield, but it, it appeared to me. If it was dink and dunk, maybe nothing was open downfield. We took some shots downfield. Um, we hauled in a couple. Uh, shout out to Renfro, who was money all day. Renfro took some licks. He got in there. He was fighting for every yard he could. Uh, but I, I, I just I don't understand the game plan today. I think you continue to work with what worked for you, and that's controlling the clock and running the ball at all costs. We, you know, uh, Watts, it's a good point. We're down the whole game. But being down 16-3, to three, you know, he, you don't want to abandon the run game. It's two score two score game early in the game. We abandoned the run game before the second quarter even started. Mm. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, yeah. And listen, so here, here we so here we go. So let, I, I wasn't wasn't sure when to to drop this question. Mm-hmm. Okay, and, I, and this is something I brought up to to the fellas earlier before we got on air. And. You know, everyone's looking for somebody to, to blame, right? And obviously, we're talking about the scheme and, and the, just the change of pace and direction that we have been on in terms of this game. And my question is, like, can somebody find me John Gruden's record against his former assistants? Because... Ooh, that's a really good... In my mind... That's really... Big brain. In my mind, uh, I don't think he has won one yet since being back with the Raiders against a, a well, former he beat, assistant. He beat, he beat Andy Reid in Kansas City. So we, but Andy Reid wasn't his assistant. Not his assistant, but he, he coached under him. No, no. So I'm, he has I'm, beat I'm, somebody I'm, that he coached under. No, but so Andy Reid wasn't his assistant, right? Andy Reid no, no. did not coach underneath John Gruden when John Gruden was head coach. I'm talking about... His former, his former assistants. When John was head coach, his former assistants. Obviously, there's one that before he he took his break and his hiatus from coaching, he made sure to beat right, and we had to suffer that loss. But Callahan. since since coming exactly. back, since coming back to the NFL, I want to know what John Gruden's record is against his former assistants uh, because I think. He has yet to win one. Shout out to Easy. Pillaging. Come don't, on, don't, don't know if this is Come accurate. Come on, Stadheads. Let's get this out. Don't know if that's accurate. Come on, Stadheads. Look but, this uh, up. Let's get this out. Let's see it in the chat. I'm trying to tell Let's you. Let's see it in the chat. I'm trying to tell you. Hold on. Uh, Easy says one in three since returning. To so game. real quick, let's let let me run down the list of of guys that I know. Okay, that are that are former John Gruden assistants. Okay, Sean McVay lost, lost. Okay, yeah. today. Loss. Loss. Mike Tomlin. Loss. Win. Win, Loss. right? We beat Mike Tomlin, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Kyle Shanahan. Loss. Loss. Yeah, okay. Loss. Lame. So um, this is my thing. In 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 all those games, to be, too. To be fair, that loss against Sh- Shanahan, that was a forfeit. We beat Pittsburgh hey. under uh, Gruden. Ah, we did. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So oh, okay. So he, so here's my thing: is 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 this a case of John Gruden getting in his own head about facing former students of his? Right that. That no, maybe are f- no. familiar with his, familiar with his sequences, familiar with his situational I, I don't think calls. So, but I, I see where you're going with this. Um, I don't. I don't I, think so, bro. I, I, I think, just. I, I just want to know. Just, I think he's he's having a problem with people understanding the scheme of his game. I think that's more of his ability. His a pro, his problem. His his assistants know his offense, and most of the assistants that beat him were defensive people that played practiced against his right. offense. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So, so they all they all know all they know his game, mm-hmm. like from just being in the coaching room with him. Yeah, and and that that's just that's a that's a situation where you go into the game and you switch up the game plan. You switch up the game plan. You switch up the calls. Well, you reverse the plays. You know, you swap the plays instead of it being on the left, it's on the right. You know, you do little things like that. To confuse the defense, not the coach, because the coach ain't out there on the field. He knows the scheme, but the defensive players can only do what you've been coached to do. Right. So if he's coaching them to the scheme, then you switch that shit up. And this is where, and I'm not, look, man, we lost the game today. I'm not going to just start talking hella shit about the team and just say we ain't going to make the playoffs or we just a shit show or whatever the case may be. We lost the team. We lost the game. Yeah. We lost the game we should have won, and we lost the game against a team who my brother Che just said was uh, assistant under Gruden. Does that make a difference? I think it does. I think the guy knows the, the offense, and he coaches his team up. You know what I'm saying? And we didn't. We came in, and we didn't. That they don't look like we even co- we even practiced to whip, to beat this team. Like it, it, it's it's like we overlooked this team. Like oh, we could just beat this team. We could just roll the ball like the Warriors with Kevin Durant. And just win. You can't do that in today's NFL, and you saw it. You know, and tell you right in a sense, but in a sense, I think it's just more of Gruden being the guy that doesn't make the adjustments in his game plan to these coaches that does understand his offense and understand he just feel like, okay, I'm my chest is poked out. I can just, you know, Derek Carr, we're going to do this. And yeah. it didn't happen. And it hasn't happened, like you said, three and one or one and three, yeah. or however you want to put yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? So – yeah, I, it's, it, that's that, that's just my theory. Of it's it. it's a que- it's a question that I that I that comes to mind, right? Because I mean, we we are aware of the the coaching tree that has been beneath John Gruden. We know of the assistants. A lot of them have turned around. They became the hot new face of, in coaching, right? Sean McVay being one of them. But um, it just begs the question. I don't know what the answer is. I'm raising the question to everybody that that is here right now and who's listening to this podcast maybe later on this week is is it something where where they just know exactly what we're doing and they're shutting us down that way or is it a John Gruden because we're talking about the fact that they totally abandoned the run in the first quarter okay before the first quarter even got underway they abandoned the run to me that sounds like a coach who felt like he was found out and he Worried tried to about adjust him knowing his game and, plan. And, t- and took him o- and took his team away from what they do best. You know, yep. to, a, to a certain extent, like everybody has game film. Everybody is is aware of the types of plays that you're running. Right. To a certain extent, you come to a point mm-hmm. as a coach where you say, we're going to do what we do because it's what we do best. And they got to stop it. Like. We're not going to change who we are if this is who the identity of this football team is. And if the fucking football team is a running football team, you don't run the ball seven times with your best running back in four quarters. You just quarters, quoted Lincoln bro. Kennedy. Yeah, bro. And the, and the, and the 2000 and, and the team he played on. That's, what he, that's how he talked about it. Hey, 
He was like, look, we know y'all know what we're going to do, but can y'all beat us doing it? That's it. You know? So. That's it. You know what? I I played right there. Bro, I played on a football team in high school where we couldn't do anything else but run the ball. (laughs) Okay? So there was never any (laughs) any confusion about what we were going to do. We're about to go fucking run the ball 40, 50 fucking times. Okay, you have a bunch of white boys and Mexicans playing on the team. You're probably not going to throw the ball very much because they're not very fast and they're not very tall. <laughs> and they're going to jump very high. Okay, <laughs> so you're going to get behind the hogs and run the fucking ball. You know what I mean? So, look, there was no, <laughs> there's no hiding. By the it. way, we hated. By the way, we hated playing teams from. Uh, uh, where you live, I ain't gonna say your city. I ain't gonna put you on blast. But where we hated playing teams from that area, Salesian Fields and all yeah. those teams down there, we hated playing them teams. Them teams was tough. Them teams was we've real tough and gritty. Corn and all they did was run the ball. Beefy motherfuckers. Yeah. That's all. Why? That's yeah. why. Um, yeah, man, we're, we're over here belling belling hey, dog. Okay, that's <laughs> so so <laughs> sky toughness, bro. Everyone shits on Gruden. And his play calling, going all the way back to his first ten year, but he gave way to Sean McVay. Yeah, he gave way to Shanahan. Mm -hmm. He gave way to Morris. Yeah, John, how come you coach them and not me? (laughs) How come you coach them and not me? How come you coach him but not me? (laughs) Even tonight, man. Oh man, yeah, man. man. Hey, this is the, hey, we. You know what's funny is all the listeners is out there. They want us to say they want us to have an answer for today. Guess what? We ain't got an answer for today. It was a shit show, y'all. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The yeah. team did not show up, and hopefully yeah. next week we'll be back to normal. Hey, you know, I guess. I, you know, it's a, it's a shame that we had to have one bad game when we didn't need to have one bad game, but we had one bad game. Yeah. So hopefully, we back on point next week. You yeah. know, Derek Carr's back to his normal self. Josh Jacobs back to their normal self, and we got the passing game back going. You know, uh, this team won't go only as far as the offense will take it. So hopefully, we'll be back. You know, Look. and I, I'm 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 pretty much. I'm assured that we will be back. I mean, you know, it's 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 kind of hard for me to say it, but I'm gonna say it. You know, because mm-hmm. Derek Carr did have that look in his face after the lo- the loss, and we all saw it on Twitter. Everybody made all kind of memes mm-hmm. off of Derek Carr's look. You know, he was pissed, mm-hmm. and he should have been very pissed. I hope he had some words for the whole team and the defense, especially in particular after yeah, that game, so- but. I hope we get back to normal, and I think uh, we will. I think we will. Well, you know, there, here's the thing, too, about John. He got cute today, right? He tried to yeah. outcoach his former disciple. But you, okay, people shit on your style. And somebody in the chat said John doesn't blow out teams because John doesn't need to. John will strangle you. He will smother you out. Mm-hmm. You can have an AK-47 strapped to his back. He's going to kill you with his hands around your neck. And I appreciate that. You've built a team. To do just that, you have players in position that can carry that style of, of game out week in and week out. You got Jacobs, you got an offensive line that loves, thrives on running the ball. And you, you, you ignored all of our strengths, you played to all of our weaknesses, and this is exactly what happened. And you did it on the road. Against the team that had one practice session last week, I don't want to hear that as an excuse for the rest of the season. We got blown out by a 3-7 team that practiced once. Yep. How come you go seven not me? Know is, you know how you know how we look at these games and you can you can come into it and you can break down the game and be like, "Oh, they should have did this or they Look, man, uh, me watching the game, this team never did anything to make me say, oh, if this would have happened, you could have did this, yeah. or if that would have happened. You just didn't come to the game. Yeah. Literally. Literally, you did not come to the game. And you, the points on the board show it. You got your ass whooped, period. Yeah. There was- and, and there's no getting around it. You, you, we, I, we as analysts can't even say, oh, well, if, if this person would have dropped, caught this pass, or if that person would have 
cut this way or if this person would have caught, you know, did this or that. There's none of that. Like, you motherfuckers didn't even give us nothing to talk about. Literally, y'all just got y'all ass whooped. I, 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 how else can you describe? We can say John Gruden didn't show up. Yeah, John Gruden, you didn't show up. The, the offense didn't show up. The defense tried their best to keep us in the game. I guess that's the bright spot. They tried to keep us in the game as long as they fucking could. But we didn't do shit to make them feel like they could stay in the game. No. Like we literally shit the fucking bed on offense. Yeah. And Yep. Wrong time to have this game, yeah. fellas. Y'all should have did this in week three. Maybe you should have hey. lost to New Orleans in week. Two. I don't know. Real, real I'm quick just though, saying, this real, was a bad, a bad time to have this game. Real quick though, Kenny, so, go ahead and, and and drop what you were talking about earlier today because you you had uh you know a little uh, deja vu, uh, if you will. Oh yeah. In terms of uh this time last year. Yeah, I mean, as I was saying, you know, same time last year, same week. Uh, same record uh, going into New York, and this team just hits the fucking wall. And it was a shit show. And it, the weather was bad in New York, sure. But again, we had the same tools. We could have ran the ball down the Jets' throat, did we? Nope. Tried passing the ball nope. most of that game. And you look at this game today, the Falcon stat sheet is, is nothing stellar. It's the five turnovers. Mm -hmm. It's the five turnovers and the lack of a run game. You keep running the ball. That shit does not happen. You put Derek Carr in a position and the offensive line in a position that they could not handle. You lose the time of possession by 10 minutes. Again, you run the ball 30 times. That does not happen. We ran the ball 14 times for no damn reason. Should have ran the ball 14 times in the first half. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hey, real real quick, real quick, because there's there's, there's some things... I mean, there's a lot of things that we're questioning, right? But how many was Jason Winton out today? No, I, no, he no was he was there. What was was he out of this game or did he play today? He no, played. He, played. Yeah. he didn't. Re- I did. He didn't really pop out to me, and maybe that's because we didn't do a whole lot of running. Because usually Jason Winton's out there as a blocker. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, we we have multiple tight ends that we like to put on the field. We have multiple tight mm-hmm. end sets that we like to put on the field. I don't feel like we I, we saw a lot of that t- this today. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm this. wrong. Maybe it's just I'm no, going you, blank. You, you're not wrong, bro. They these motherfuckers did not do anything. <laughs> like, don't you feel like trust? Tell the truth though. Don't you feel like you you feel like like somebody drove past you doing ninety miles an hour and you just like, damn, what the fuck was that? Yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like seriously, that's this how team was unrecognizable. This game, it's like what happened? It's like what the fuck happened yeah unrecognizable you know i don't even know you know I was it cl- went so fast like y'all whooped our ass so fast like we just got our ass whooped that's yeah. how i feel about it yeah. you know yeah, and you said like you said kenny said that yeah. he, he said the five turnovers and the the fumbles from Derek carr and we didn't have a good game yeah but that shit went so quick it's just like wow dude i, I don't even you know this yeah. game just I don't even know what to cite. I, I, There's I like, so many fucking things that happened. Yeah. I like that, that metaphor, Kane. We, we got our ass whooped. I, got, I like that metaphor, Kane, and I have a response to it. Something that happened this weekend. I'm coming back from Tracy. I'm on Highway 5. I'm doing like 90 miles an hour. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's a guy in front of me. He's doing like 80, right? So I get over ahead of time. I pass him. I get back over. Didn't cut him off. And then this guy smashes 100 miles an hour, gets back in front of me, and slams his brakes. I get over. Oh, wow. I wait patiently. What do I do? What's my response? I do 110 miles an hour, (laughs) and I left him in the fucking dust. (laughs) I'm not shitting you. I smashed it. The Mazda picked up. 110. He's gone. (laughs) He's gone. <laughs> what did we do today? We, and we that's just, one of them. That's one of them drives where you'd be like, "Boy, if I'd have hit you, I'd have jumped out this car and beat your motherfucking yep. ass." Don't you ever feel like that sometime? No, oh, man. you'd be like, "Dude, if I'd have hit you, I'd have ju- you would have just went to jail today." And sometimes you feel like that. In response, <laughs> in response to Chase's comment about the tight ends, there's a tight end 
that we haven't seen all season. I don't know if it's still the injury or not. A guy we're missing in the red zone, mm-hmm. which is Foster Moreau, yep. losing snaps to Jason Witten. Foster Moreau says, How come you coach him and not me? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Love Fucking it. facts, bro. Facts, man. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> How come you coach him and not me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So, <sighs> Kane, oh, I'm, Kane I'm, I'm glad we got a hold of you, man. Because I, I smile when I hear your voice, and you know, we're talking a lot of shit. And we're having some fun with this, but we got to do now what the rest of this team is doing. We got to put this game in the rear view mirror. We got to focus on the Jets. We got to make right what was wrong last year. We have an opportunity for some revenge against the Jets. You know, they, they said they, they should put this Atlanta game on the bulletin board. They should, and they should put it right next to the clippings from last year's loss against the Jets and go into New York, go into the Meadowlands with a chip on their shoulder. I hope so. And just never let, let never give the Jets a chance to get in this game. The Jets have no business being in the NFL this season, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. None. Hey. No, and they know it. They and they wish they wouldn't. They wish they could just fast forward to the draft and get Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. <laughs> so that's exactly that's what they're trying to do, bro. That's you know exactly what, what they're trying to do. Let's help them do it. Come on, yeah. Curtis Martin's <laughs> not walking through that door. <laughs> Chad Pennington <laughs> is not walking through that door. Uh, <laughs> oh man! Hey, real quick, real quick though. Um. Because before before King gets off the air, I want to I want to hear your thoughts on um, on on uh, Derek Derek's comments after after the the game. Uh, in terms of his uh, his his regard for the fans, uh, he says Raider Nation, and I'm and you know don't quote me. This is not this is not like a perfect word for word, mm-hmm. but essentially he said no. I heard him. He said this th- this fan base deserves better. He said, How come you coach him but not me? <laughs> <laughs> the, the minute Nathan Peterman went into the game, he's like, "How come you coach him and me?" <laughs> yeah, he, he said this oh, fan base man. deserves I'm better. On no point tonight, look, man. This, he this said, dude, who, yo, hey, I don't got nothing else. Just look, I, hey, Derek Hart, the Raiders, the the. Oh, I was gonna say the Oakland Raiders. Mm. Say it. I mean, My we, bad. We're the, all over the world. The, the so. Raiders. The Raiders had a fucking bad game today, <clears throat> and uh, it, it it was hopefully an aberration. Derek Carr is playing too good of a season for us to start talking shit about him. Um, You're right. You know. So, with that being said, look, man, you you're gonna have a game where you sh- don't show up. Mm. I think last week we put all our energy like every little piece of energy we had like they really wanted to win that game I think the team really wanted to win that game and I think some of the younger players forgot that we still got to go on and play the rest of the fucking season dude Mm -hmm. like okay you lost but you still got to play and the funny thing is most of most of our players are from winning programs so you should understand that if you lose then you're a winner. You got to come back and show us that you are a winner. And you guys did not show up this week. Yep. And I'm disappointed. And I'm the rest of the fans are disappointed. You're disappointed as a team. So let's get back. Let's get back to it, man. Next week, we got the Jets coming up. Cold weather game. Derek Carr, we all know he he's uh we know his record in, in less than 40 degree temperatures. And we know it's going to be cold next week. So let's let's. Let's get one more monkey off our back next week, Derek. You know, yep. and uh, let's go out and get this victory. Yeah, yep. word up! Thanks for joining us, Kane. Man, hell yeah! Talk to you. Uh, talk to you tomorrow. We'll talk to you on the show next week. Hopefully, after a big victory, brother. Stay safe. All right, my brothers. I'll talk to y'all. All right, peace. Peace out. Peace out, brother. Peace. Um, Jay, uh, finish finish what you were saying. No, no. This is this. Yeah, this is what I was gonna say. Um, and I have I actually have the 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 quote. Paul Gutierrez head on uh, on Twitter real quick. He said, "Our fans deserve better than what we put out there today." Mm-hmm. That was a bunch of trash. Quote by Derek Carr. So my question was to you guys: How do you feel about that? How what 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 is that? Do you feel do you feel like oh he's taking responsibility? Does it make you <laughs> does it make you more angered? Because I had some thoughts. I had some thoughts like immediately. 
And I almost tweeted it out, and then I was like, you know what? I'm going to save it for the show. I'm going to save it for the show. Okay. And this is my thought. These are my thoughts. Derek Carr, if you feel like this fan base deserves better, specifically the fans that made their trip to fucking Atlanta mm-hmm. to support this shit show that you guys put on the field. They were out there. Yeah. This is what I suggest. This is how you can make it up to those fans specifically. You should fucking pay their goddamn ticket and their fucking travel expense. Every fucking player on this team should fucking do that because that was bullshit, yo. And look, I know there's been plenty of fucking games. Kenny deserves his goddamn money back, I'm trying, too. I'm trying, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was there, too, bro. <laughs> you know, Kenny and Bobby and Kay, they deserve their money back, too, yo, okay, from last season. But listen, man, this is a different season. This is a season where we feel good about what we've seen from you. You've given us high hopes. We we feel like we've returned to to a team that, that is that is on on the cusp of, of being, you know, great. We have you have people announcers, you have people on talk shows, analysts, fake analysts talking about this team might be a Super Bowl contender. And then you go out and you do this and you play like this. And yet you have all of Raider Nation <laughs> talking about I knew I shouldn't have got my hopes up cuz this is what they fucking do to me when I start thinking things have changed. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's not right, yo. Like, yeah. and, and the sorries and the apologies, like, the part of the reason why we get we got on your ass before, bro, is, like, all the, like, you know, all the comments after the games. Oh, yeah, you know, obviously we all want to do better. We don't want to hear that shit. No. Okay? And the same thing goes for telling the fan base that they deserve better. How about you just fucking do better, bro? And it's not all on you, Car. Not today. Okay? Not this season. But you know what I'm talking about, dog. Like, okay, show us, show us what appreciation appreciation are you gonna show us as a whole, as a fucking fan base, as a whole, and specifically those poor motherfuckers that said, "Yo, we're gonna dip into our pocketbooks during fucking COVID, fly out to fucking Atlanta and watch this team play, and then you give them this bullshit game, bro." During, like, during this the middle of the holidays, during the time, embarrassing, yeah. bro. Everyone's trying to hold on to whatever money they got. Fucking yep. embarrassing, bro. I, I, I was so angry. I'm sitting on my couch, and I'm angry. I can only imagine how those people felt. Um, and there's a lot of people that'll be like, well, at least I got to see a Raider game in person. Nah, fuck that. Nah. That is That wasn't even a game. Nah. You're still waiting for the game to start. You're still wondering where your team is. Um, so that, those, were, those were my thoughts. Those were my thoughts. And people were about like, ah, come on, dude. Yeah, everyone's going to pay pay their ticket and shit. Yeah. And that's honestly how I feel. Pay their fucking tickets. Then then maybe you'll be all right. Uh, Bobby, how you feeling, man? You, you're quiet over there. You're, you're on Planet X, bro. And dude, you know what's pretty funny is that I was actually thinking the exact same thing. But unlike other press conferences where you hear the, oh, gee, Willikers, you know, it's on me like... This one was actually a little bit different, man. It really was a sense of taking ownership of the shit show and saying, and basically saying, I fucked up. Even though it wasn't completely on car, he said, I fucked up. He actually meant it. And that's the way I took it, bro. Does that help? No. It still hurts like a motherfucker. However, though, it makes me feel like all the other times before, it was just kind of like, well, I got to say this just so I can get through this press conference mm-hmm. and just go on to the next game. Mm-hmm. This one it actually feels like it actually stung. Like, it, it actually hurt. Tell you. The point is, or the question is, is, how come you go, him and not me? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Yo, shout out Bo Jesus right now. How shout come I don't get to say it? <laughs> Bo, Jesus, Bo Jesus says, how come you read his chat and not me? <laughs> <laughs> I got you, Bo. <laughs> Love it. Thanks Love for the $5, it. Bo. Hell yeah, brother. Hey, man. We're trying to make the best of this, guys. We're trying to make the best of this, but you know what? Was that the question, Bobby? Was this... that the question? Was that where you're going with it? I don't even know, dude. I lost <laughs> it, bro, after that, after that chat, dude. I loved it, dude. That was a great response. How come you don't read his chats but me? <laughs> How come you coach him but not me? <laughs> I don't know, Frank. Oh, man. I don't know, Frank. 
Um, should we take a break and get some of these calls? Yeah, let's get a little break let's right now, bro. I got some fresh pie down there for you guys too. If you want to, hey, maybe that'll ha- that'll that'll brighten up our day. Oh, please, Sweet tooth. Please. another chela will. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, pie and chela, bro. There, there you go. It's a weird it's a great combination. combination. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a winning combination. It works, man. Sweets and beer actually go really well together. Well, they do. Yeah, they do. Um, all right, we're gonna take a short break and we'll be back on the other side. Yeah, we got you. Peace. Staple the baker. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, we got we got a pumpkin pie. We got a maple pumpkin pie uh, with a graham cracker crust and a maple walnut brown sugar cinnamon crumble on top. Oh yeah. You know why? Because pumpkin pie needs texture. And y'all making that soft ass <laughs> bleed through your loose <laughs> teeth, friggin' mush. <laughs> I've seen some of y'all pumpkin pies. They got water on top. <laughs> they got they got puddles on top of it, bro. Like, just go buy that Costco pie. Mm-hmm. It's good. I will say it's good. Yep. But yep. you you fucking around, man. You know, was, hey, you know what I got this year though? I got those those Gizditch pies, bro. Oh, hey, those ones you can't go wrong with those, bro. You got to order. You got to order that like a month ahead. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They don't play around, dude. When they come to their holiday pies. <clears throat> Oh, Man, wants, they're sold out on the daily. P wants mm-hmm. a picture of the pecan pie. Um, I, I, I can send you a picture. It doesn't look any different, uh, but it has chocolate and bourbon in it, and that's it tastes different. Uh, but my lady helped me with the pecan pie. They have, she had a very nice arrangement of pecans on top. It's very symmetrical. <laughs> it's very nice. Uh, Jacob says it looks like ground beef on that motherfucker. <laughs> um, it does. It does look strange, right? It's it's brown and crumbly. So yeah, but it's it's crumble. It's a brown sugar cinnamon crumble. It, it it just adds a little little kick. I love personally brown sugar and cinnamon. It's like heroin to me. I love that. It's got walnuts too, man. It's got walnuts. Hey, cinnamon for me, it's all good, bro. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You always got to have cinnamon. I now we're Mexican, bro. Yeah, dude. Well, it's because cinnamon and everything. My abuelita would brew the coffee with the cinnamon. Right? That's right. Yep. Fuck, yeah. I still do that from time to time. Cinnamon stick. Of course, that's I, right. Of course, I got the uh, the Keurig right now. I don't have the full pot out, but yeah, that cinnamon stick and the coffee filter. Pff, you can't go wrong, bro. Can't go wrong. You can't go wrong, bro. It's so good. Yep. It is yep. so good. It is so easy to do. It is. Um, Lizette, the pecan pie is bomb, but it is rich. I mean, it is rich. Oh, for that, you did, You need like some straight like black coffee. Black bro. coffee yeah. all day. Ain't oh. no messing around. Dude. It'll make your teeth chatter. That actually sounds pretty good. And but you, you know what? You take I'm a, a bite. I'm going to get this beer. Instead. You take a bite and you'll be like, <laughs> I can't stop eating this, bro. <laughs> Don't. What's the point? Yeah. Just finish it, bro. How come you feed him and not me? <laughs> and Bobby says oh. he takes small small bites of pie. That's like his pie routine. But he's he's gobbling this shit up. Saber it, bro. Yeah, bro. Damn, it's tasty. Yeah. Pour another beer. As far as the, the pumpkin pie itself, I mean, there's nothing special. You got the condensed milk. You got the pumpkin mix. Yeah, I don't do the fresh pumpkin. I'm I'm lazy. But you know, I don't use the pumpkin pie spice. I use ground ginger. I use ground nutmeg. I use the ground cinnamon. Sometimes clove. You told me you grew your own pumpkins, sometimes, bro. Sometimes clove. <laughs> uh, maple. We use some maple. We use vanilla. You know, very standard. But that graham cracker phew, sets it off, too. Let me tell you, but, uh, the pecan pie, standard crust. Pumpkin pie, I go with that graham cracker. It's delicious, man. Mm-hmm. This is the right call. I'm going to say it right now. This is the right call. Did the shell burn on the bottom? No? No, hell okay, no. Okay, good. It's delicious. It's risky. Perfect. It's risky. Perfect. All right. Perfect. Perfect. <sighs> You make me do it, huh? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect's at home right now looking at Littleton like, How come you coach him but not me? <laughs> uh, these guys got some beers, man. They want to review some beers, and I want them to review some beers. Hey, man. 
this is a simple one. This is nothing mm, special. This is one of the soldiers. Okay. Um, I got this nice little 18 pack of uh, Kona longboard island loggers. Standard it's procedure. Basic, basically the craft. It's basically like a craft model. <laughs> okay. Um, Kona Brewing Co. You know, nothing major, man. This is just a... This is just a, to fill in, fill in the spot because I knew one chela was going to hold us down. I dropped the ball. You know, I it, dropped the ball. It's okay. I, I had a couple of chelas at the fridge, and I was like, you know what, Chaz got it. And it always happens where Che always brings enough beers, and mine are just like the backups. Good, <laughs> good backups too. But they're good backups. I was like, you know what? I was like, Chaz got it. I was just too down on myself, man. Hey, it's understandable, bro. Okay, <laughs> on a day like this. Uh, everything's excusable yeah. okay everything's excusable but don't worry we have chelas so salute raider nation keep drinking the blues away oh yeah and um if you have pie eat some of that shit too because right now we're enjoying ourselves uh raider nook says he met the kona guys a couple years ago made them look hella small big guys uh <laughs> big guys gordon Biersch has a saying never trust a skinny brewer and hey right i say the same thing about chefs same thing Longboards. Um, hey, this is Santa Cruz beer or no? No, this is this is Kona, bro. This, this is, Kona. is um, okay. Hawaii, yeah. the liquid Aloha. That's a good. That's a good ass drinking summer beer. It is, bro. Like I said, it's a it's a it's a soldier. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have a barbecue. Put some of these in the cooler. You're gonna be good. You'll be all right. Can't go wrong with them. Yeah, man. you're gonna be able to drink all day. I mean, at least I will. Cause this well, shit ain't doing nothing. I would rather handle a longboard than uh, than a Foster's. I think, honestly, this is this just had this just got more flavor. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, no, this 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 does have more flavor. Mm. Um, like I said, it's the craft. Mo- it's like a craft model. It's a lager. It's nice. Oh, yeah. hey, Four point six on the ABV. When they say you know for every beer you should have water, they say the, what they mean is for every beer you should have a lager. You should have a beer, <laughs> and you should have a lager, and then you should have a beer. Yeah. If you if you're hanging out with us, that's what you're going to be doing. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. You're going to have you're going to have one of these, and they're going to have one of these. You know, and they're going to have one of these, <laughs> and they're going to have one of these. And you're going to have a denogonizer, and then you're going to forget. <laughs> Where you parked your car. If I see if I see you double up on those evasive, hard to find Mac drizzles, if I see you double up on those, oh, hey. I'm gonna tax you. It's Modelo, Drizzle, Modelo, Denogonizer, Modelo, Stone, Modelo. Like you better yeah. fucking therapist. Share, bro. Yeah. Share, hey. Sharing is caring. You you need you need to space it out, man. Because well, one one thing that we don't want happening at the tailgate. Is someone's spilling their guts all over the fucking yeah. tailgate, okay? Yep. And that will happen. Yeah. If you rock too hard, bro, that shit will happen, man. It'll I mean, catch you. We saw that lady fucking throw up and <laughs> piss her pants and pass out. Dude. <laughs> I felt so bad for that what lady. The? She was drinking again after the game, dude. <laughs> Damn. I'm, I, I must have been in the bathroom for that one, dude. <laughs> that must have happened quick. Well, I didn't want to point, you know? I didn't want to point. <laughs> You know, it's all good, dude. I, I might have. I might have. Honestly, I might have. Some people. I'm ra- that guy. <laughs> some people rally harder, you know? It's, I go, it's oh, so <laughs> look at that motherfucker right there. She was like, how come you throw up and not me? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to some of these phone calls, y'all. We got a lot of them. Hit them, um, hit them, hit them. Most of them are, are fairly brief, <laughs> so we're going to try to knock through all, all of them. There's a lot. If it gets a little too deep, a little too negative, we may, we may bail. Cue up the thunder. But yeah. Cue up the thunder is for real. For real. Um, all right, let's go here to the 303. Kenny, Shay. What up? Kane. Three three. It's your boy 303 calling from cold. Who, Chile? Denver, Colorado. I wow, bet. man. Mm-hmm. A letdown, huh? It's major. I didn't bro. see this coming. I thought we were so much of a better team. Uh, got out of hand real quick. I don't. Facts. I don't know what you guys remember. The O line. We just haven't run the ball, especially in the last couple weeks. And I thought today was, you know, I knew that Atlanta had a top ten running def- rush defense, but I thought we could maybe establish Jacobs. So something's going on there. I don't know what it is. Yeah. 
maybe we've over Excuse overachieved me. with all the injuries on the O line. Um, you know, I thought the defense did everything it could in the first half, but you know, shooting ourselves in the foot. Of course, Carr played a horrible game. Let's just get that out there. I mean, fumbled, but then again, you know, guys are getting through the O line. The O line got manhandled today, mm -hmm. plain and simple. I thought the defense played well enough. Of course, in the second half, they got tired. A lot of turnovers. You know, two fumbles by Josh Jacobs. One got overturned. An interception. Pick six. Two fumbles by Carr. I mean, no one's going to win that way. No, and let's keep it real. Every single one of those turnovers was a fault, also of the offensive line. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, and Blown somebody coverage. And somebody said earlier in the chat, they were like, "Well, you know, Derek Carr could have stepped left or right and evaded that." Guys, he's been doing that all year. He's been doing an excellent job of that all year. I think the chaos just became overwhelming at some point, where it's just. You know, you're caught in a thunderstorm. There's nowhere to hide at one point. Yeah. Um, but I just wanted to throw that in there. 303, you're on the money so far. Let, let, let it rock. Yeah. Um, and we're not good enough to just show up and say, hey, we're going to beat someone. So, anyways, got to chalk this one up. Um, on to the Jets. Really got to put it on them, man, because now I think we have no room for error. I think we've got to beat both Indy and Miami. I thought, you know, we could still get in the playoffs. We lost to one of those, but now losing to Atlanta. And the good news is... Mm. There's not a lot of good news today, but mm -hmm. if you're going to lose a game, lose to the NFC team. But anyway, sure, man, sure. super bummer. I still think we'll make the playoffs. We'll bounce back. I think we're tougher mentally, but we still got to go out and prove it. So uh, this is your boy 303, and I'm out. Great All call. Time. Great call coming off the loss, man. Great, great way to break it down, kind of bottom line everything we've said. Uh, it's good to hear from you, brother. It's good to hear from you. Um, let's move it to the 484. This looks like a new number. I could be wrong here. Jenny, Jay, Bobby Wasabi, Raider Soul, calling from Philly. Oh, what a, what a, what a fucking depressing game. Ouch. Just straight fucking depressing. <laughs> Not a single bright spot to point out. It, nothing. The Gruden's play calling was horseshit today. Why the fuck are we not throwing downfield when we're throwing one yard dump passes and screens to Waller? Where's Jacobs? Where's the O line? Where's the defense? All they have is Calvin fucking Ridley out there, and we can't guard Jack shit. Fuck. Hopefully we come out next week and just take our fucking anger out on the pussy-ass Jets. Because fuck, <laughs> man, we cannot be going down like we did last season. Mm. It cannot happen again. Yeah, please. No. I'm pissed off. <laughs> Raider Soul, out. Saw the call. Um, solid call uh, from John Gruden there. Thank you. Passion. Right <laughs> um, shout out to Britt. Britt Raider, Raider Hemi. I think that is. Uh, uh, with the nine ninety nine donation. No comment. Just walked up to the table, sit down $10, walked away. Uh, Britt, you're, you're a hot shot. I like that. I like that. Nothing to say. They, there's nothing to say. say oh, I mean, well, she got a little gift going that says, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. And we say you're welcome. Thank you. That's right. And thank you very much. Nothing to say. There's nothing to say. What more can I say? Is this Pete? Because this looks like Pete. I see a lot of asterisks. <laughs> this looks like Pete. Oh, fucking great. Watching here and why? Oh, yeah. In this corner, weighing in at 270 pounds, <laughs> it's pillaging Pete. My time. 1048 left, and they just scored in the fourth quarter. That's the Falcons against the Raiders. They are who they thought they were. We are who they thought they were. We let them off the hook. What the fuck, man? Mm. Kenny Che came, brother Wasabi. What's good? This is Pete. Man, this is probably the strangest game I've seen in a long fucking time. Very weird. We've been dealing with a lot of COVID. We've been dealing with a lot of injuries. And I was afraid that this kind of game was going to happen sometime soon. A lot of us thought it was going to be the Jets. But lo and behold, it's the Falcons, who obviously took us very seriously, and we did not take them seriously at fucking all. Mm. I wonder, did they spend all night at Magic City eating some lemon pepper Lou wings and getting stank coochie to trip down play for it? Because that's really what it looks like, man. I mean, this is fucking garbage. And as far as MVP goes, there's none. I, I, I give nothing. I have absolutely nothing. But as far as trash can goes, and this is the point I really wanted to bring up, mm. Something's fucking off with play calling and Derek Carr. I'm saying this from the beginning of the game. Something smelled really fishy, and I suspected something was wrong because John Gruden was really, really cagey during his fucking interviews, man. During his interviews throughout the week. 
And, you know, you could put on the KC loss, but, dude, something's fishy here. I think someone's hurt, or they're not telling us something, because the way that we came out and did not do our usual game plan at fucking all and then just got our lunch ate, yeah. I think there's something wrong they're not telling us, man. Yep. I could be just paranoid, could be weirded out, but either way, the play calling and coaching today was fucking trash. And Derek Carr, I can't fucking defend you, dude. I cannot defend you at all, nor do you deserve to be defended. Either way... I'll see y'all on at seven tonight. I'm just gonna fucking. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start drinking now. Wait. <laughs> uh, he's not done though. And also one more thing. Sorry for calling in twice. What's up, pillagers? This is Pete. I forgot to mention this in my last call, probably because I didn't have time. But Mike Mayock and Mark Davis. This isn't John. This isn't the coaching staff. Need to put together a fucking film reel. Of all the times Max Crosby got held and it wasn't called. They, they didn't put together a lot of examples of times that we didn't get called in comparison to the Falcons. This was utter bullshit. Was it sloppy? Yeah. Was it terrible? Yeah. But what they got away with in comparison to us, I, I can't forgive. Mm-hmm. Anyways, guys, thanks again. See you all on at 7. Bye. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Thank, thanks for calling back to drop that. To yeah, that's the, uh, true. And Che Ch- always has things to say about the officiating. I will say this. Um, Max Crosby held repeatedly. Uh, Corey Littleton held, seen in slow motion several times during replay, never mentioned. Isaiah Johnson's PI call, complete and utter bullshit. Yep. 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 It, it's, I know we battle the zebras and whoever the hell else we battle every week, but they seriously had something against us this week, man. The amount of bullshit calls that mm-hmm. I saw out there, I was like, dude, are you serious, man? You're seriously going to call that shit right now. Mm-hmm. You're seriously going to throw that flag right now. I, I, I understand there was a lot of frustration on our side. We we were, you know, not playing very well. So those flags can come out very quickly as well. But a lot of the bullshit as well, dude, it just it just did not. It, it did not compute. Yeah. No, hell no. Yep. Yep. Johnny number five. <laughs> 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 Got that compute. <laughs> Got it. Oh, man. How come you flag us and not them? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys, man. Yeah. yeah. Fuck the zebra. Look, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I always say this is to be expected, and we just got to play through it. And I'm not saying that any of those calls, if they had gone differently, would have changed the outcome because we played horrible. We had a horrible game. But there is something to be said about the amount of effect that a call is going to have. Timings, you know, of, of these flags. Um, it can change the complete. It, it changes the course of the game completely, man. And where some of those calls that came in against us, maybe if they hadn't been called, maybe if they hadn't been thrown, who knows what happens with this team? Who knows if they wake up? Who knows if they are able to come back, get into this game? They get a big play of some kind, and then all of a sudden their juices are, are, are going, you know, and the engines are revving, and they get back in this game, and they, they become the team that we are, we've are we become accustomed to seeing this season, mm-hmm. you know? Um, that, is, that is the difference of these flags. That is really the difference of these flags. Again, team played like shit. We lost badly, but... The Zebras, we're tired of this shit, man. We're tired of this shit. And I don't know what it's going to take. We post stuff. Fans constantly post stuff. There's videos of it everywhere, of your errors, of your inability to make the correct calls when all of a sudden a silver and black team shows up on your fucking football field. Um, Mm -hmm. I don't know what we got to do. What do we got to do? We got to sue? Does the Raider Nation have to sue the NFL and fucking, like, for fucking doing this to us? Is 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 there? Can somebody... uh, you know, give me some uh, legal advice. Is this a possibility? <laughs> can we get? Can we unite? It's it, bad it, enough, it, honestly, dude. Come on, man. It's it's bad enough seeing all this BS happening in front of our eyes live. It's worse the next day or the day after. Oh man, saying oh after reviewing, we yeah. saw yeah. that there was errors in the calling, so no, we will no do errors. better to next time. It's like, dude. Why even say shit? Period, dude. You fucked us over. Yeah. Just, just admit it, and it's fine. 
I, I think I got more respect for you if you just say that you fucked us over, dude. <laughs> honestly, it's like, it's like just honestly, I, I hate the Raiders and uh, I wanted them to lose, so I fucking threw the flag. So I pulled out my index card. <laughs> been saying yeah. it, been saying it a long don't time. Fuck you been saying it a long time. NFL refs need to be full time jobs, not this part time shit. Hey, and get some guys that can run. Get some guys that can see. Not these sixty year old men running around out there. <laughs> Get trampled, <laughs> fucking messing up plays because they didn't fucking get out of the way. Oh man, trying trying to pedal Werther's originals on the sidelines, trying to give me a quarter for my help. These old <laughs> ass men. Come on, man. Terrible. Let's go to the nine five one. You gotta do better. I don't want your fucking candy. <laughs> oh man, Kenny, Jay, brother Wasabi. What's up? What's up, pillagers? It's Eric from Paris, not Paris, France. Sorry, it's Paris, California. <laughs> Eric Paris, the microphone doctor, bro. Hey. EPMD on the line right now. What a goddamn disappointing motherfucking game this was. Yeah. No one did a fucking damn thing. Gosh, man, can't even fucking goddamn talk right now because this is so fucking irritating, man. They fucking walked all over us. We should have been the ones going there and fucking giving, telling it down their goddamn fucking throat. Sorry for the damn ass bombs, man, but this shit, this, this shit is just stupid. How could they get blown out 43 to 6 of the sorry ass fucking birds, man? This is ridiculous. They need to go back to the damn drawing board again. Cars fumbles. The first one was, you need to learn how to hold a damn ball. The second one, fucking Parker man needs to learn how to block. <laughs> no one was doing jack shit. Jacobs wasn't doing shit. Gosh, man, no one can do a fucking damn thing, their offense or damn defense. This is Eric from Paris. I'm out. Hey, man. I feel it, man. Yeah. I, I feel it. Um, One more time. Now run that back in Spanish. <clears throat> Kenny. K. Hermano Wasabi. This is Eric from Paris again. Part two of my car. I feel a little better now. Deuce. One thing I have to say is I know the car haters are going to Wait, why is the transcription in Spanish, bro? <laughs> you, you hit that bilingual, bro. You wait, hit that. wait, the whole thing? <laughs> it's in Spanish. <laughs> hey. Wow. Did you did you did your VPN? <laughs> Una insolita un macho de este que tengo línea en <laughs> the men? Are you sure that's not Latin, bro? Defensive buenos tardes tenes hijos. I C C C. Estimas naves de Carlos dice okay. Maquijales. I don't even know what the <laughs> fuck that means. Wait, wait. Maquillajes? Wait, I understand that one right there. It that's makeup, that. bro. That's oh, makeup. Shit. Hey, look, it says right there tacos for a loss. <laughs> 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 no, you know why? It's because he started off. Okay. In Espanol, bro. And they just uh, totally tripped the, the SAP button. <laughs> and, that, and that motherfucker never that's came back. That's something you guys aren't aware of. You're, yeah. you're not aware of, man. Right, you, yeah, you say yeah. one word in Spanish, it trips the SAP button. Bro. That's right, dude. Everything hey, goes Spanish after that. That's going to be the new thing, dog. Pillagers, Once you go Spanish, you never come back. Man. Pillagers are going to call in like in, the, <laughs> in different languages. You're going to have pillagers calling in Russian. Uh, some some into Gaulic, you know? <laughs> dude, everyone's going to throw off the... The Google Translate, bro. Put on your makeup. <laughs> Wake up! Put on a little makeup! <laughs> Come out. I start hating on car. Car this, car that. Car can't throw worth the shit today. Uh, da, 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 da. One thing I've been seeing is we lose one game. We get blown the fuck out. And all of a sudden, fingers start pointing towards car. Guys, open your fucking eyes. Look around you. Look around what's on the field. Look what's going on. Get behind me, Lord. It's not just car. It's the O line wasn't really doing much today. They couldn't really block. They were letting them in. Defense worth is fuck, man. What did I start the same damn shit with the defense? How I see this loss, this is a team loss. Yep. A team loss. Not a Derek Carr loss. Because car can't throw, da 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 da. Carter actually did it okay, not like he has in the past couple of games. But you know what it is, man. We always do this shit. The Raiders are so inconsistent. Mm. 
we play a fucking phenomenal game last weekend against the sorry ass Queef, but yet we get our asses blown out by the fucking Atlanta Falcons mm -hmm. by old man Ryan. You know, on top of that, we we were getting injured. We had injuries left and right today. You know, I I just don't 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 get where people are coming from. If it's all Derek's car, Derek's car's fault. It ain't. But I will put some blame on him, and I'll put a blame on everyone else on the whole entire team. Where was Abram? Abram was quiet the whole entire time, besides the interception. Mm -hmm. You know, so you know, I had to get that off my chest, just like I did earlier. And I'm gonna adapt this name. Actually, by the actually, this is my first time calling, mm -hmm. and I've been listening to you guys for a while already. Appreciate it, man. For about Appreciate three it. years, nice. when Appreciate I discovered you. you guys about three years ago. So I am adapting adopting this name, yeah. Raider Eric from Paris. That's right, Raider Eric from Paris. That's right. That's what's up. So you guys have a good one. Jay cracked them chelas. Oh, you know we do. Bobby, what's up? You do the same. Mm-hmm. You? Kenny, Stapler, mm -hmm. do it too, my brother. I can't have a I can't have a chill or not because I'm so pissed. And that ain't gonna make it feel good. <laughs> but with that, you guys have a good one. Hope you guys had a uh, excellent Thanksgiving. Thank you, man. And we're on to the next one. Yes, sir. Appreciate Raider it. Eric out. There you go, Raider E, man. Thanks for calling in. Eric Paris, the microphone doctor. If you guys don't know who that is, then uh, educate yourselves. Then yeah. I'm older than you are. <laughs> <laughs> um, keep calling in, man. Keep calling in. We really appreciate that phone call. Uh, we hit the nail on the head several times. There is a team loss. It was a team loss. I like those uh, long time listeners, first time callers, man. Yeah, we need more of those. Man. We do. Yeah, we do. Absolutely. And you, and you know what? You just gotta throw up and just get it over with, and just call in. <laughs> Yeah, Bobby speaking from experience. That's right, dude. I throw up every time I step up behind the mic. <laughs> that's, my, that's why it smells weird around here. <laughs> um, let's go. Let's go to us. Uh, we're going overseas. You guys ready? Hey, let's do go. it. All aboard. I got my passport. Oh, that one didn't work. Oh. Let's go again. All right, Crips is your man. Damage here. How are you doing? So damage. Just watch that needs shit show absolute fucking embarrassing yep uh, yep don't know what to say man uh, too much hype too much fucking hype in my speech can because folk was just I thought it was an easy roll but they take opposition anywho uh, fucking don't know what happened to the run game run game just disappeared yep it did yep. Uh, I know so I'm not going to blame on Derek Cass, but just the whole fucking thing, man. Honest to God, get it together. So yep. You just want me to be nice if the defense and the offense go to together, man. Could be some fucking team, honest to God. But, hey ho. Anywho. Obviously, all redemption, Belgium laws, but that is a fucking bit in the balls of that one. Once they got peace out, peace, man. <laughs> uh, Damage Inc. Thanks for calling in, long, long time listener, uh, very, very, very loyal follower of ours. Hell yeah, and, and us to you. Um, I know that when you call in this line, it is not free. You do have to pay international charges. We do yeah. appreciate that. Uh, we also know that you have a very special set of skills, and you will find. Who is responsible for this? <laughs> and you will track them down, and you will hold them accountable. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> we, and I'm sorry you have to wake up to this, man. Yeah, they don't have they don't, they don't call them damage for nothing, bro. No, bro, it's damage, bro. Damage Incorporated, dog. Damage dollars. Inc. Uh, seven six zero. Oh, we know this number. Come on. Fucking kidding me? Did you just <laughs> fart, bro? <laughs> Did you seriously just fart into your phone, bro? <laughs> Let me hear that. Hey, again. man, this is just show you how he's feeling. <laughs> Fucking kidding me? <laughs> That's what we put on national television. Shit Fucking show. What? Jesus Christ! Cue the cue. Come, come, 
How can we be this fucking pathetic? He just thunder shot out his ass, bro. <laughs> Why you fight him but not me? <laughs> oh, Wop's keep manufacturing his own thunder. <clears throat> keep it going. Keep it going. Go. It's just ridiculous, man. Oh man, I thought they were doing so well. I hadn't really said anything negative, but trash can players. I mean. Everyone that got on an airplane that flew to fucking Atlanta, <laughs> they're all trash can players. Every single one of them. Garbage. Not a single person out there really did anything worth noting. That was a, just a complete collapse of a team. Of, I don't know why we do this shit. I'm, even, I'm worried about the Jets. I mean, we can't even beat the Jets. Mm. We get smashed by them for no goddamn reason. I don't know why. But Atlanta, I mean... Jesus Christ, man. You want to talk about getting molly You did it on national television. It was just fucking horrible. Mm-hmm. I could go on for days about how awful this loss was. But yeah, man. I'm sure every call is like that right now. I'm just at a loss for words. Really. Wop out. You guys have a good one. Peace, man. You have a good one, too, Wop. <laughs> that's the beginning of the show right there. That's the title of the show, dog. Right? That's it. I don't know how to type that, but that's the title of the show. Uh, Hit up Google Translate. <laughs> He'll translate it in Spanish. <laughs> he just says pedo. <laughs> Capital P, bro. Oh shit! All right, uh, four oh eight. Uh, I, I I need to hear from Juice right now. I need to hear from Juice. Come on, Juice. I'm not talking about the Juice running down Wop's leg either. <laughs> What's up, Nation? It's Juice, Kenny Kane, Shay, and the motherfucker Bobby Wasabi. What's Yo. really going on, guys? Hey, I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. Just want to get that out there. You guys, Thank all you, brother, the nation, you too. hope everybody had a good time. As far as this game, fuck awesome. this game. Straight up, fuck this game. Just whatever. <laughs> yep. Get it out of the head. Fuck yep. this game. What are you going to say about it? Right? We're not supposed to do this stuff, though. You know what I mean? Like, if we are who we think we are, if we are who we say we were, we don't lose games like this. No. After the Chiefs game, they should have got a hold of Chuck D so we can get Harry Allen's number so he could have told us, don't believe the hype. Right after the Chiefs game, the only games that I was, you know, ner- hold on. A lot of you missed that public enemy reference. Hey. Harry Allen, the media assassin. Hey, can't trust it, bro. Nervous <laughs> about it was maybe the Colts and the Dolphins, and even now, like now, can it, you know, quickly things change, right? But those were the only two teams that kind of made me a little bit nervous. And then we pull this shit, right? Yeah. And my wife said it best, man. At the beginning of this game, she called it. She said, "We always play down to our competition." Mm. She was right. Anyways, now that I've had to admit that, right? <laughs> Thanks a lot, Raiders. But we need to look ourselves in the mirror, right? Dead in the eye, in the mirror, and figure this shit out, right? And figure this shit out means a lot of things, right? We already had James Jett on this team. Mm. We had Tim Brown on the other side. We don't have that anymore, mm-hmm. right? So Henry Ruggs needs to be more than a decoy. If we need to move forward, a lot of things need to change. Man, everything was bad t- today. Everything was bad. Uh, you know, we were 6-4 and four last year, and the wheels fell off. Right, Gruden said, "Oh, but this team is different." Well, it's time to prove it. It's time. This is it. This is what you're getting paid for. This is what they're all getting paid for. It's time to prove it. Right? Throw this shit out the window and be ready to play the rest of the year. Right? It might sound crazy, but we could still slide into the playoffs. We get our shit together. Mm-hmm. You know. And then, like I said before in the past, when I called earlier this year, we could play with anybody. Right? So anything could happen. I'm not scared. We could play with anybody if we really do this thing, right? And we could we could even legit win a couple of games in the playoffs. Now, I am not saying we're going to win the Super Bowl. I mean, it's stupid. I don't think we could beat the Steelers. Mm-hmm. And we probably wouldn't beat the Chiefs anyways, right? But we could legit beat a couple of teams that are going to make the playoffs this yeah. year. And we, you know, we could still end up with 10 wins this year, maybe even 11. I mean, we could actually win out, win 10, 11 games this year. Or... We could play like this and go fucking eight and eight. So, I don't know, guys. I, I really, I don't have answers today. I just fuck this game, dude. Look yourselves in the mirror. Figure this shit out. Move forward. Keep it sexy, Raider Nation. I'll catch you guys later. Oh, oh, oh damn. MVP. Um, I don't know. <laughs> fuck. You tell me. 
sucked out there today. Maybe the defense, I don't know. They did they did good. They did pretty good. Mm-hmm. You know, before the before shit really got out of hand. Uh, Reggie Nelson. Nope. That was it. That was it. Reggie Nelson. Oh shit! It was. Well, I was that's gonna the say, way to end it, man. I mean, that's it. I would say the only uh, the only MVP player I would say was the only person that put points on the damn scoreboard, which is Carlson. Dang, Daniel Carlson. <sighs> I put Carrier up there too. Carrier made the biggest play of the game, in my opinion. Um, we've been close to blocking a punt all season. I've been saying that. I've been harping on it in every game. We've been close. Uh, ju- juice. Makes a good point. Let's talk about that six and four last year versus this year. And last year, I didn't feel like we had any business being six and four. In those four losses, we were not involved. Uh, this year in the Bills game, we shot ourselves in the foot. Could have won that game. Yep. Um, the Bucks game, we, okay, we lost that one. The Patriots game, terrible. Uh, again, we're in the game against Kansas City. This is a much stronger six and four team than it was last year. And I had us blowing out the Falcons. I believe I said this was going to be the blowout game of the year. Or was it Miami? I don't remember. Does it matter? Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. Facts. Not anymore. Facts. Uh, we got a few more calls, guys. Hang in there. 813. This is a long one. Let's see. Again, a lot of censorship in this phone call. Love it. Mr. Stapler, Jay, and the one and only Bobby Wasabi. Does anybody notice the extra love Bobby gets? <laughs> and I love it, man. I love it. It's always Brother Wasabi, the one and only, that motherfucker Bobby Wasabi, <laughs> the king Bobby Wasabi. I had that on the belt, dude. I love <laughs> it. It says motherfucking Wasabi. <laughs> it's the one that says bad motherfucker on it, man. I love it. I love that. Yeah, thanks for showing the whole crew love, everyone that calls in, man. Hell yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Y'all are awesome. And don't we forget, appreciate them, man. Pillageros are the best, bro. Never forget a boy king. <laughs> nah, don't do not do that. Let's go. This is your boy, Rob Raider. Yeah. Calling out of Tampa, Florida, by way of beautiful oh, Los Angeles, California. You got badass voice, Rob. Sound like Tone Loke and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tone Loke's nephew. <laughs> 43 to 6. Yeah. Let me tell you, I'm glad that you guys uh, don't play your voice messages until 15 minutes after your show, <laughs> because I am fucking pissed. <laughs> I'm fucking real. I can't, you know, this is just the typical Raiders, you know, especially in the last fucking, you know, I hate to say it, 20 years, yeah, mm. when you start to get your hopes up. And you know you got a fucking game or a team coming in that you're supposed to fucking annihilate. Yep. And this is what happens. You get embarrassed. God damn it, man. We just look so bad. I mean, to, to not get in the end zone once for, for mm. a touchdown. I mean, even with that rust catch, we got down to the three fucking yard line. Yeah. And we can't punch the ball in. I mean, we had 40 goddamn yards of rushing. On only 14 attempts total. That's not just 14 attempts for uh, for Jacobs. That's 14 fucking attempts, period, for 40 motherfucking yards. We had three times as many penalty yards as we did rushing yards. Oh, no, yeah. gross. 141 penalty yards. I mean, this defense hasn't stopped anybody nope. the entire year. And held anybody, I don't think, to under 30 fucking points. And for us to get shut out and not even score a single touchdown is just, it, 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 it takes the life out of me, man. You know, a lack of plays. I, what the fuck are we doing in the red zone? Why mm. the fuck mm. can we not score Thank a touchdown Thank in the red zone? I mean, it is unbelievable, man. The Falcons defense, Whoops. defense just made us look like straight bitches. I, I, I can't believe it. Look, Gruden, Gunther, y'all need to get your shit together because I, I, as soon as you get everybody's fucking hopes up that we're contenders, that we can play with anybody, you sit here and get shut out by the fucking Falcons defense. I mean, this is just embarrassing, man. You know, um, I love the show, guys. Uh, keep doing the good work. 
Thank God you guys are here to make this day a little bit better. Hey. But this is a fucking rough one for me, man. <laughs> I'm so sick That's and too- tired of getting my goddamn <laughs> hopes up mm-hmm. and just having shut down and annihilated by stupid play calling and, and non-execution. All right. This is your boy Rob Raider out. Knock on wood if you wouldn't. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I love that. Rob, thanks for calling in. Really, really good phone call there. You kind of took us through some emotional roller coaster, bro. And I'll say this about the defense. The defense, yeah, you're right. It hasn't stopped anybody this year. But we've shown up a couple of times. And I felt bad today because we hit Matt Ryan eight times and a couple more times illegally. Um, the defense looked fired up today. They were, they were playing with some, some violence. Yeah. And I thought, you know, to myself, offense needs to reward this defense soon. Before the levy breaks, and I use that term a lot, the levy breaks. We, we've we blamed the defense a lot in the past, but when your offense is going three and out, three and out, I mean, what, what, do, you, what do you want those guys to do? We didn't have one drive, I think, over five minutes today. Yeah. Damn, that's called exhausting your defense right there, man. That's what it is, man. Yeah, that's that's not the smart way to do it right there. Yeah. At all. Yep. I mean, look, the the defense are good. Like everyone's saying, the defense are good early. Were they amazing? No, but they were holding their own. They were giving us an opportunity to get back in this game. And the offense just failed them, man, miserably, like just horribly. And it, I, I don't know if, if, if you guys feel like this, but this always seems to be the case. Mm-hmm. Every year, because every year for the last, I don't know how many years, we've had one of the worst defenses in the league. But every year we have a game where we're like, Come on, defense. If you guys could just show up and stop some, stop some people, we'll just, the offense will take care of the rest. And then the defense decides to show up one game and the offense just takes a fucking vacation. Just check that out. Every year, bro. Every year there's a game like that. Yep. And that's usually the game that we get blown out in, right? Because the defense shows up. And they do their best, and they probably perform f- the best first quarter, first half of the whole entire year. And the offense was like, uh, oh, we had a game today? Him, but not me. <laughs> we, ha- we had a game today? <laughs> My bad, dog. My bad. I didn't know you guys were out there. I'll be there soon. I'll be there soon. Let me just get my fucking shoes. I- oh, you know what? I need new cleats. I'm going to go to the store real quick and get those cleats, and then maybe I'll show up to the game. No shows, bro. Offense, no fucking shows. Mm -hmm. And it's bullshit, yo. Mm -hmm. It's fucking bullshit. Mm -hmm. It's bullshit. Um, Let's round this out. Central Valley Raider with the final call. Make it a strong one. Let's go. What's going on, my pillaging brothers? Central Valley Raider in the house. What's up, brother? Hey, man. Let me start off real quick by saying uh, I tried that hen. That uh, hen house brewing, hey, awesome, awesome brew. Mm. Thank you, Chad. Hey, um, you boy Bobby too. Today, also, <laughs> obviously, because of our game, I just was trying all kinds of shit. Uh, I tried some uh, Burning Barrel Brewing Company. Okay, it was called uh, Candy Juice. Hey, so all right. try that. <laughs> so I know Chad always start. You know, I can't. That candy. That candy juice. Oh, you said candy juice. My candy bad. juice. Oh, candy I was, was going to say candy juice, man. It's uh, candy juice. Dude. It's strong. <laughs> I was like, and I heard it. It uh, it it coached the, the back of the throat. <laughs> I heard it didn't. Uh, it didn't get uh, FDA approved because it blended all those monkeys. In. <laughs> um, tastes like pineapple. What I've been told. It's just what I've been told. Uh, I tried a lot of things today too at uh, halftime. But- I tried smoking crack. <laughs> and um, I took a walk. Didn't change anything. Uh, <laughs> but that was just me. <laughs> I mean, teach their own. Different strokes. Right. You know? Uh, shout out to Damaging. Damaging. Shout out to For the four ninety nine. Um, sorry, candy juice. It's off the show by popping them tops and having that uh, kill us. Yeah. So... Let's get back to the game, back to reality. Number one, obviously we weren't there today, mentally, physically, Hell no. any other way. Um, I knew off the bat, watching that first sweet play, watch the film, 
and you seen when they tossed that sweep on fourth and one, mm -hmm. and Parker ran out there like he was fucking slow motion, <laughs> no. and even even uh, fucking Jacobs <laughs> doubted that he would make it out there in time. <laughs> just, it just Parker had the the chariots of fire in the background. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> He thought he was man. moving too, man. <laughs> he thought he was a hundred dollar man, dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jacobs was like, "With your big ass, get out of here, man." <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you got that too, Central. Oh no, man! And the way they banged us today, it just it just didn't seem right. I knew off the bat, first five plays, man. I knew we were going to be out for the day. Um, it is what it is. I ain't gonna bash Carl. I'm not gonna bash nobody. You know, and shit. When we do good, love them. When we do bad, hate them, you know, fuck all that. We just need to be ready for next week, right? Because if I if I recall, my pillagers, mm. you guys were there in New York last year mm -hmm. yep. for that thirty four three yep. drubbing. Yep. So let's see what happens. That's what I'm looking at. At the end of the day, man, um shit. Everybody won, but we lost, so we kind of fucked ourselves. We're going to have to we're going to have to start from the bottom to the top like we always do. That's Raiders, man. That's my mentality this year. Just we going to always just have to fucking grind. And and the final the final thing of this, man, is the rest fucked this big time today. About four or five times, man. Oh, yeah. Just on some drama shit. Yeah. But it is what it is, brothers. Uh love you. Shout out Trilogy Podcast is the uh, you know top flight motherfuckers in this podcast business. <laughs> top flight Love security. You. I'm out. Central Valley Raider. Podcast Peace. of the world, Craig. Hey, <laughs> top flight security, Craig. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Fantastic call. Central Valley like got off to a slow start calling into the show, and um, he, he's been solid though ever since. Hell yeah! You know what I mean? Yeah. He's he's making a run, dude. Yeah, he is. He's, he is making a run. He's got he's, some great calls. He's he starting to uh, he's starting to nip at PT. Right? Watch yeah. out now, Pete. Yeah, watch well, out now. You, your your first first splash in the water was a little little rocky, and uh, you then you got right on it, man. So I, I love that. So if you're a first time caller and you're a little bit nervous, um, I mean, there's plenty of examples to go around, man. Um, you know, Central Valley Raider being one of them, long time <coughs> caller now. And we love hearing from him, man, especially because it's right, right in our backyard, too. Yeah. Um, so even if you call in the first time, eh, a little rocky, hey, just keep calling back. We've had a, a few first time callers the last few weeks that have done really well. So we love hearing our, our loyal listeners and we love hearing new guys and, and people that have been listening a long time. You know what? I'm going to put out, I'm going to put out uh, a, a call to action. Because I know we got some female listeners out there, and we we I don't know that we've ever really had a female caller. I think maybe once or twice, but we want to hear some of the ladies' voices out there, Raider Nation. I'm not talking about Angria and Heidi, and uh, you know those are our sisters. Yeah, Jenny. Yeah, peace and love. Yeah, I'm talking about listeners, not podcast hosts. Call in, man. Yeah, represent. We want to hear that fire in your voice too. Get pissed off. Yeah. Get mad. Real mad. <laughs> Do it. Shit. Get mad. Shit. Get mad like Tyson was mad at Roy Jones running around the ring. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and, and holding up the whole fight. Yeah. Terrible. I think <laughs> no the Raiders. Knockout rule. Tyson was mad, bro. No Tyson knockout was rule. Mad. He's like, like, what the say. fuck are you doing, bro? <laughs> I thought I was supposed to knock you out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the Raiders came into this game thinking it was the same rules. You know, no knockouts allowed. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, there'll be no winner declared. This is what pisses me off the most, playing down to the competition. When you see, when you're coming off a performance that you had last week, granted it was a loss, you got to bring that same energy into a team that you might think is a cupcake. And, and it, yes, Atlanta's no pushover. But next week we got the Jets. If, if you know, in, in my competitive history, which is short, but in my competitive history, if I'm going up against an opponent that I can crush, that's the mentality I'm bringing. I am going to crush this person. This is my chance to put up big ass numbers and and not just coast through. Like, don't why take it easy? That's right, dude. Sh don't don't shoot for the participation ribbon. Hey. Try to fucking smash them and hit somebody in the teeth. Go for the kill, man. That's right. This is when you put up you, your fucking... This is where you fluff the stats, man. Hey. You want to you get your stats up and and, uh, and be in the talking or the runs, the running for the, for the MVP or whatever else you're trying to get at. This is when you're supposed to do that against these teams. <laughs> the fuck? 
Well, you know, it's like uh, when I play punch out, I'm trying to knock Glass Joe out in the first <laughs> round. I'm not trying to go the distance with Glass Joe. Oh, you know man. what I mean? Uh, Damaging okay. says in the chat, he says, I'll get my wife to call Kenny. She calls me a purple walrus. I don't know if that, I don't know if she's being cheeky. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't. I don't want to hear about your purple walrus <laughs> ever again on this podcast. Okay, ever again. We love you. Never again. Um, hey, wait, real quick, because you you mentioned Glass Joe. Mm-hmm. I just want to shout out <laughs> Nate Nate Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> Nate Robinson's crew came in with the fucking uh, with the Glass Joe uh, Mike Tyson t shirts, bro. Did they did they come in with the I Mike didn't Tyson t shirts? No they had the Glass Joe. On the floor, right, and Nate Robinson in his gear, like uh, like being held up or whatever, like Mike Tyson. And little did Nate know he was about to get slept, bro. Oh, <laughs> he oh, slept, bro. He just got slept. Shout out Nate Robinson. I don't know shit about Jake Paul other than he's like a YouTuber, but that dude's looking more and more jacked every single fight that he yeah, did. yeah. No, I mean the the motherfucker trains for real. He's serious about it. And this. then these other people that don't fight at all are like, I'll go kick that white boy's ass. <laughs> and the white boy's like, yeah, come on, let's see. <laughs> let's get it. This is going to be fun. Nate Robinson went to sleep. Sleep. Sleep, Nate y'all. Robinson's still asleep, and I'm kind of jealous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was asleep all Sunday. Bro. Lizette Romero says, you don't want to see me mad. I'll leave you hearing crickets. Lizette, bring it on. Hey. Bring it hey. on. Bring it. In that fire. <laughs> um, we were supposed to do uh, the two-minute drill with Sal tonight, but hey. you know what? Um we we know that Sal's not in the good mindset. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's today's game, bro, and we ain't either. <laughs> the thing is, is, Sal's expecting me to call him. Today. Oh yeah, that's right. No, and see, they, that can't happen either. We got to catch you off guard, bro. It's got to be a shock to your system. You know, he, you know, he has <laughs> like a cold whole, bucket. Of ice has his whole bro. matrix pulled up and everything, though, with all the answers. He has his notebook. Yeah, yeah. Nah, do you, you get to get him like when he's like in the toilet, dude? That's the perfect one, dude. <laughs> when you're dropping a deuce, all your guards are down, dude, because your pants are down, dude. So, <laughs> Sal, what's your schedule like? That's what I'm saying. At, at, at what time do you poo, Sal? Yeah, right, man. Everybody's got, got a time. Everyone's got a time. Can't right. breathe in there, you know? <laughs> Stuffy. That's right. You're sweating. The toilet paper sticks to your ass. The roll's gone. <laughs> The panic sets in. <laughs> nobody's home. You're looking around the room to see what you can use as a substitute. Just your five year old. Nobody else is home. <laughs> Hand uh, towels are gone. You're doing that that waddle to the the, to the pantry. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm trying not to let them stick together because it gets worse after that. You know what I mean. Uh, yeah. <sighs> and that was just Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You don't want to push too hard, uh, stress the heart. You know what I mean? Um, takeaways from today, zero commitment to the run, uh, penalties killed opportunities, five turnovers, complete and total identity crisis. And in the meantime, Nicholas Morrow had one of his best games as a pro football player. Go, go fuck me, man. <laughs> fuck me. Um, guys, have anything else to say? No oh, man, I think it. I think it's all been said. I think mm-hmm. the callers said it the best. The callers said it the best. They oh. did, man. They did with, without question. Uh, nah. This is a fucking disappointment, yo. And we just hope that this isn't an aberration of what of things to come, right? Like we don't want to see this shit again. Let's let this be a one off and uh and come back next week and <laughs> and show that this team was exactly what we thought it was, like unrecognizable. Just yeah. Shake it off. Sal Salazar in chat. Pillaging, pillaging, pillaging. Mr. Shoot. Salazar says, Serio! <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Serio. Um, that's it for this week's show, guys. Tune in every week wherever podcasts are found. And until next week, keep the wind in your sails and the rum in your mug and pillage on Raider Nation. This has been a production of the Crow's Nest Podcast Network. I'm Kenny Stapler. Join us always by your boy, Chip. Bobby Wasabi. We out, Chip. Go Raiders! How come you put him but no? Like a brick and common, you blow in the town. Like a diesel motor, you never shut down.